The Senate Judiciary Committee begins confirmation hearings this morning for a Supreme Court nominee who could make historic changes in the law. 53-year-old appeals court judge Brett Kavanaugh has a record as a solid conservative. He'll be questioned about his views on a wide range of issues. Jan Crawford is inside the room on Capitol Hill where the hearing will start in just a few hours from now. Jan, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora. So today you're going to see lawmakers on both sides of the aisle try to frame the debate over Kavanaugh. Republicans say they want to have him confirmed to the bench uh, by the time the Supreme Court returns that first Monday in October. So they're going to have to kind of maintain a united front to fend off Democrats who are arguing, among other things, that Kavanaugh on the bench means the future of abortion rights is at stake. The candidate that has been named by Donald Trump was pre-screened by two right-wing extremist groups. Senate Democrats are gearing up to hammer Judge Brett Kavanaugh on the issues they say are front and center in this week's nomination fight. One of those groups, uh, executive director, has made clear that his number one goal in life is to overturn Roe versus Wade. Opponents are hoping their message will convince Republican Senators Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski, both supporters of abortion rights, to vote no on Kavanaugh. We talked about whether he considered Roe to be settled law. He said that it was settled law. In addition to abortion, lawmakers are likely to question Kavanaugh on issues ranging from affirmative action to government regulation and executive authority. This is not normal. Minnesota Democrat Amy Klobuchar pointed to the ongoing investigation into the 2016 election and the White House's refusal to release every document from Kavanaugh's time in the Bush administration as cause for concern. They've ex right. exerted their executive power, 148,000 documents that I've seen that you cannot see. Leonard Leo advises President Trump on judicial selections. Is Roe versus Wade on the table? The left has been putting out the Roe versus Wade scare tactics since 1982, and nothing's happened to Ro Roe v. Wade since then. Now, late last night, a lawyer for former President George W. Bush released another 40,000 pages of additional documents from Kavanaugh's time in the Bush White House, but that didn't satisfy uh, Chuck Schumer, who said that just doesn't give them enough time to review those records before the hearing gets underway in a few hours. John. Jan Crawford, thank you.